Hello, I'm Katie Bourne and I am the Sussex Police and Crime Commissioner. It's great that you can join me again here, coming live from the office today. As you can see, the team are in the background working hard. And it's really important that you see how hard we work for people across Sussex and that we are as transparent as we possibly can be and accountable to you, the electorate. You may well have heard recently in the national press that the Home Affairs Select Committee did a report on the accountability of police and crime commissioners. And I really welcome that report and the recommendations within it. I am trying to be as transparent as I possibly can be because it's really important that members of the public have the information they need at their fingertips. So we publish everything online on our website, all my expenses, my allowances, any decisions I make, and expenditure over £500. Everything is there online for you to see. And while we're talking about accountability, I'd like you also to know that neither I nor my deputy make any uh, claims for travel and expenses that we do across Sussex. We could claim for this, but I think it's really important that taxpayers' money stays in their pockets. And so we've agreed that for the term of my office, neither of us will claim for any travel allowances uh, that, we, that we partake across Sussex. And carrying on with the theme of transparency, on the 25th of July, Sussex Police are kicking off a 10-day event where they open up the police force to members of the public. As I said, the event they're kicking off with on the 25th of July is for 100 children to come to King Standing, which is on the Ashdown Forest. And if you know a young person that would like to apply, please have a look at the web at Sussex Police website. Now, what those children will be able to do on that day is they'll be able to have a tour of the nuclear bunker. They'll be able to understand how to investigate um, a car crash scene. They'll be able to uh, see how the search and rescue dogs are deployed and they'll also look at uh, forensic examination of a crime scene. Sounds absolutely fascinating. I'll be there for part of the day and I'm looking forward to meeting as many young people as possible. As I said earlier, if you know a young person that would like to apply, please go on the Sussex Police website. So we kick off this 10 day event. Members of the public will also be able to go to their local police station and have a look behind the scenes. Um, all the information is online, so please do apply and get involved. So it's all very well me talking to you like this, but the most important thing is that I hear from you. And I would really like you to get in touch with me. Let me know what you think about policing in your locality, whether you're happy or whether you're not. You can contact me on, on the website. You're online now, so you know how to do that. But I'm available by email, on Twitter, on Facebook. Pick up the telephone or good old-fashioned snail mail. I look forward to hearing from you because it's really important that you keep me in touch with what's going on in your area and what's important to you. Bye-bye for now.